then I'll do a very warm welcome to another a bit more Yorkshire Brass. It's David Hoyle bringing you show number 124 this week in our online YouTube series. We started with music by David Rose, played by the Leyland Band. That was called Holiday for Strings, something really nice and light to get us underway. Thanks as always for all of your requests and dedications, uh, your messages in the Yorkshire Brass Facebook group. We are actually oversubscribed on the show this week, so if we haven't got your request in, I'm so sorry that we've not managed to fit it in, but I do want to keep the shows to about two hours, otherwise they go on for too long and people do turn off. Al Guy, our first request uh, this week, Al sent me a lovely email, really, really lovely stuff in there. I'll always a joy to hear from you. And this particular march that you have chosen, I've not played for absolutely ages. It's by Urbach and from a recording that you suggested by the Hendon Band. Our first march of the week is called Through Bolts and Bars. <laughs> Hendon Band playing Urbach's March through Bolts and Bars. That was requested by Al Guy, Al, a regular contributor to the show. Thanks for your email, Al. Yorkshirebrass at gmail.com was the email address that Al used. And so did Andrew in Morley, who's got this week's Overture choice. It's only a short one, Oily. 
but I really like it. I'd love to hear the Black Dyke Mills Band playing Sullivan's The Yeoman of the Guard. Any chance? Absolutely. Here we go. The Overture to the Yeoman of the Guard by Sullivan, played by the Black Dyke Mills Band. That was first performed back in October in 1888. 
absolutely stands the test of time, doesn't it? Now, our next solo, first solo, actually, of the week, we're going to Selby, saying hello to Karen and Mum Veronica. We'd love to hear the... Um, solo by Hugh Nash de Melza, which is an E-flat solo. It's played on horn and soprano cornet. We'll let you choose a version, really. Well, I've gone for this one with Kevin Crockford, the brilliant Kevin Crockford, and the Grimethorpe Colliery Band. Let's have a listen to this wonderful piece of music, de Melza. <laughs> Kevin Crockford 
with the Grimethorpe Colliery Band playing Hugh Nash's Demelza for Karen and Mum Veronica in Selby. Thanks, ladies, for your request. You pop that request into the Yorkshire Brass Facebook group. If you've not joined or you want to become a member, we talk about everything brass band in there, not much else really, and that's how I like it to be. Just go onto Facebook, type in Yorkshire Brass, you'll see my pictures, and send a request to join the group. I will add you in without any problem whatsoever. Uh, next up, Duncan is in Buxton. A piece of music for Mioile, which I remember playing as, as a young man, and uh, I think, in fact, we even played it as an own choice test piece in the fourth section at one point. You probably did. It's that kind of music, Duncan. Thanks for the request. This is by Eric Ball, the Black Dyke Mills Band, playing here, Petit Sui de Ballet. <laughs>
Petit Sui de Ballet by Eric Ball, played there by the Black Dyke Mills Band for Duncan in Buxton. Now, our next, our next message is from Chris. Chris is in a wonderfully named place in Somerset called Curry Mallet. Curry Mallet. And Chris says, Oily, I've got one for you. I, I know that you like to sort of go on about things and make little lists and share them with the listeners, but how about having one with place names? that are to do with anything you might find in the kitchen, you might make in the kitchen, or just to do with eating. What a damn good idea. How dare you? Uh, yes, I'm going to do it, Chris. I'm absolutely going to do it. But let's listen to your piece of music first. And what a brilliant choice. Our second soloist of the week is Tom Hutchinson with the Corey Band. This is the music of Jerry Jeff Walker. What a performance. Mr Bojangles. Brilliant. Absolutely stunning. Another wonderful solo from Tom Hutchinson with the Corey Band, the music of Jerry Jeff Walker. Mr Bojangles was requested by Chris, who is in Curry Mallet in Somerset. Well, Chris, as per your request, I've made up a, a little list of, of foods and places which are named after foods or vice versa, and I'm going to share some of them with you through the programme. Let's do some of them now. Um, Eccles Cakes and Chorley Cakes. Of course, Eccles and Chorley are, are places. Um, I like both of those. I call them fly pie. Bit of flapa. 
as we might say, and you, know, you can't beat a bit of fly pie. Um, we would probably call it currant pasty in Yorkshire, but it's not wrapped in. You know, the the the, the Eccles cake, the the fruits inside the pastry, whereas in a a piece of slice, you can see the fruit, but they, t they taste the same. Very nice, anyway. Uh, Cullen skink. Now they know about that. This is from Cullen in the northeast coast of Scotland. It's a seafood dish. Uh, and staying in that sort of neck of the woods, how about in the Orkney Islands? There's a place called Burger. Really? Absolutely. It's spelled B U R G A R, Burger, but apparently it's pronounced Burger. Just to let you know. Uh, more of those later. What have we got coming up now? Oh, a lovely, lovely email. Uh, thank you very much indeed to Craig, Craig Whittingham. Um, Craig sent me a lovely email, as I say, saying I was wondering if you would be able to play something on a future show for my dad in honour of his brother and my uncle. My dad, Keith, is an avid listener of the show down here in Banbury, Oxfordshire. He's a huge Grimethorpe fan and a baritone player currently playing for Kidlington Concert Brass, having previously played for Sovereign Brass and a few others over the years. Sadly, we lost his brother Jed in 2010, who was a lifelong Salvation Army bandsman. Firstly at the Banbury Corps, where he was bandmaster, principal cornet, and then became bandmaster again before moving and spending over 25 years in the Boscombe Army Band. Firstly on cornet, then he moved on to Flugel and he became the band librarian, a job he loved. Wow, what dedication is that? Jed, listen to this. Jed was also a die-hard Black Dyke fan and he went as far as naming his house Queensbury and even had a doorbell that when pushed played the march Queensbury. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Jed was born in the Barnsley area before the family moved south but never stopped being a proud Yorkshireman. His family has a long tradition of Salvation Army brass. His father, my granddad says Chris Horace Whittingham, former coal miner, spent his life playing in army bands as well as being the bandmaster at Banbury for a number of years. And he also played for Carlton Main in his younger years as well. His uncle was Major George Whittingham, a man known in the Salvation Army brass band world so well. And he's still going strong into his 90s. Brilliant, George. Absolutely brilliant. The last recording that Jed was part of was the Sanctuary album released by Boscombe in 2008, says Chris. And I would love it, as I'm sure he would, if we could surprise my dad by playing one of the songs. Jed would have absolutely loved this too. I have to play the title track for you, don't I? Here we go. This is by Eric Ball again. The Boscombe Band of the Salvation Army are playing Sanctuary in Jed's memory.
Eric Ball's Sanctuary was played by the Boscombe Band of the Salvation Army, requested by Craig in memory of his uncle Jed, who was playing on that recording, and it was requested for Keith, who is an avid listener of the show in Banbury. Thank you to you all, sent with good wishes. Next up, we're going to Alan. Alan is in Wolverhampton. Uh, a keen listener to the programme and he likes to listen down in the allotment. He says, I put my earbuds in oily while I'm digging away and listen to the music for a couple of hours. And somehow it makes the work in the allotment easier because I'm, I'm listening to the music and not thinking about as much about digging and things like that. And um, so it, it just whiles away a few hours. On this basis, could you please play me the theme from Grand Foss? Absolutely no problem whatsoever, Alan. Jim Parker's music played here by the Black Dyke Band. requests on this show grand force the bbc tv series that was the theme music by jim parker and played as all of the music was on that cd by the black dyke band uh, a trombone feature please says jill in linley thanks for bringing the show to us either uh, it's my pleasure i love doing it i really do and you're such lovely people and um, i'd like to hear this piece of music because i used to play this when i played in bands well i've played this too and I really, really like this piece of music. It's by Trevor Sharp, the Black Dyke Mills band playing here, features their trombone section, and we're off to Spain, the Blades of Toledo. <laughs> Thank you. 
trombone section of the Black Dyke Mills Band playing Trevor Sharp's The Blades of Toledo. Thanks to Jill in Lindley for that request. Show number 124 this week with me, David Hoyle. And uh, yes, food's coming to it again. Chris, uh, one of our earlier requestees, lives in Curry Mallet and suggested this week's theme, which I've absolutely taken up. Uh, it's all about things which you might find in a kitchen or foods. Obviously, you find food in a kitchen, uh, but bits of uh, food and drink with strange place names in the UK. Let's give you some more off the list that I've made up. Drunken Bottom, oh dear, uh, that's in Oxfordshire. Uh, further north in Northumberland, there is a place called Faggot. I quite like a faggot, you know, in the in the in the foil tin with the nice rich gravy. Oh, I don't mind a faggot, absolutely. Uh, and there's a place in Devon where it's actually a beauty spot on Dartmoor, and it's called Nutcrackers. You find some nutcrackers in your kitchen drawer, don't you? Uh, if we go up to Scotland, near Stirling, there is a place there called Teapot. Yes. In East Sussex, um, there is a place called Jugs Close. So we've got a teapot and a jug. Uh, and staying with things you might find on the side in the kitchen. Of course, in Worcestershire, there's a place called Toaster. Yeah. Passed through it many times. Not spelt as the same, but it's certainly pronounced the same. Uh, more, th more of these in the second part of the programme. Uh, but now we've come to the time of the week where we have the lovely, uh, slow and thoughtful melody. This is for Anna in Stocksbridge in South Yorkshire. Could I please hear Vivaldi's Winter from the Four Seasons? And dedicate this to my friend April, who lives in Australia. And they're still kind of coming towards the end of winter. Absolutely. Sellers College Brass playing here.
just lovely isn't it the music of antonio vivaldi sellers college brass playing winter from the four seasons anna in stocksbridge with the request and playing that for her friend april who is in australia and does listen to this program thank you very much indeed uh, for that one now we've got a wedding anniversary john and sheila love love your message and many congratulations on your golden wedding coming up in the next week we've nothing planned because we're not like that but we'll go down the farm shop says john and get a nice steak for me and some nice chicken for sheila and i'm gonna cook i love cooking good lad good lad yes i like cooking as well as you know but one thing we do like doing together is going to the theater and particularly watching musicals one of our favorites is cabaret and i wonder if there was a brass band arrangement of music from that show there certainly is and um, this is the music of fred ebb and john kander and it's been arranged for brass band by alan fernie it's just called cabaret selection and it's played by the brickhouse and rastrick band bringing the first hour to the end we wish a very happy golden wedding anniversary to john and sheila <laughs> Thank you. 
Alan Fernie's arrangement of music by Eben Kander from Cabaret. Cabaret Selection, celebrating the golden wedding anniversary of John and Sheila, the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band, bringing the first hour of this week's show number 124 to an end. Let's crack on and begin the second hour with this magical piece of music. Paul's requested this, and it's not the composer, Paul, that's requested it, but this is by Paul Lovett Cooper. Um, this it's played by the Black Dyke Band. I've seen them do this. I've compared concerts when they do this. It starts very quietly and the band appear on stage, not one by one, but certainly section by section, although sometimes it is just one person that comes along. And it, it, just, it just builds and builds and builds to this mighty, mighty last note where the whole of the band are playing. Paul, thanks for the request. The Black Dyke Band get us going in the second hour with When Thunder Calls. Always a joy to play that particular piece of music. When Thunder Calls, the Black Dyke Band playing the music of Paul Lovett Cooper. Next up is our heritage track. Uh, this is for David Richards in Sandbatch. David sends us so many good requests in, and lots of them are heritage tracks which are on old LPs. This is no exception, and it's our second March of the week. Now, I have to say, 
This match is great. It's by Shipley Douglas here of Mephistopheles and Pompous Main uh, fame, of course. Uh, it's underplayed. In my opinion, this match is underplayed. This recording, uh, well, Walter Hargreaves, the wee professor, is conducting the Brig House and Rastrick Band. David Richards' choice, the Heritage March this week. Peace and war. <laughs>
heritage track on this week's programme. The March Peace and War by Shipley Douglas was played there by the Brickhouse and Rastrick Band and they were conducted on that recording by Walter Hargreaves, David Richards in Sandbach with another cracking request. Our next solo of the week, well this is a duet. We've had, a, we've had a trio, trombone trio. We're now having a duet featuring a soprano horn and a flugelhorn. This is beautiful. Susan, thanks very much indeed for requesting it. It's the music of Andrew Lloyd Webber and the BNFL band uh, accompanying the two soloists. Alan Witchley is on soprano cornet and Gary Lord is on the flugel. As we hear, P.A. Yezu. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? P.A. Yezu by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Alan Witchley on the soprano cornet, Gary Lord on the flugelhorn with the BNFL band. And that was for Susan in Murfield. Susan sent an email in yorkshirebrass at gmail.com. You can do the same to send in your requests. Let's go back to this list of things which you might find in a kitchen or uh, the place names which have got food in the titles. Chris in Curry Mallet was uh, the, the, the listener who sent the idea in and I think it was very good absolutely very good Chris I'm enjoying doing this one how about a place in Essex called Bachelor's Bump well certainly if I open my kitchen cupboards I've got I've got farters mushy peas by Bachelor's other brands are of course available um, but Bachelor's Bump uh, this is one of my favorites and it should be of any Yorkshireman Yorkshiremen absolutely love a fry up we do. There's a place called Fry Up in North Yorkshire. I have passed through. In fact, I, I deliberately went out of my way to make sure it existed. 
absolutely did back up to scotland uh, there's a place in banffshire called bake bear well you bake in your kitchen don't you and uh, in the shetland islands rumblings you get rumblings when you've had a good meal you do now then how many have i got i've got another six to come i'll bring them to you towards the end of the program uh, but let's move on now to the next request and this is for heather in malton i'd love to hear barry gott's mumbo jumbo if you could please i love this piece of music great arranger great composer barry gott let's have a listen the ransom band playing here mumbo jumbo <laughs> The Ransom Band playing Mumbo Jumbo by Barry Gott. That was for Heather in Malton. Now, a funny email from Johnny in Bolton. Young man, how are you? Um, Johnny says, I remember listening to you on the radio and you played a piece of music and in and amongst it, you did an impression of Fred Elliott. I say Fred Elliott. Uh, I seem to think there was some singing on the track, says Johnny. And I'd like to hear it again. Can you remember what it was? Uh, I can. I'm not going to do the Fred Elliott impression in between the music. Um, but it's right at the beginning. Well, it, it appears three or four times, actually. And they're sort of going, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, I say, ooh. They're not doing I say. That's me going I say in Fred Elliott style. But I'm sure you can imagine as we go through. This is a, a, a song which appeared in the charts in the 70s and it's written by Idris and Evan Jones the Brickhouse and Rastrick band are playing here and it's called the Push Bike Song you've got to remember this one surely Thank you. 
That was released in 1970 by The Mixtures. It's called The Pushback Song. I said The Pushback Song. You can fit some Fred Elliott into the middle of that, can't you, Johnny and Bolton? The music of Idris and Evan Jones was played by The Brick House and Rastrick Band. David in Mansfield is up next. Another solo, another Cornet solo. It's my birthday, Oily, on the 11th of September. If you can play this for me on the 10th, that will be absolutely grand. It'll make me weekend. Hey, I'll tell you something, I can. And this this is fine. We, we heard Tom Hutchinson earlier uh, and another one of our tremendous principal Cornet players, uh, uh, Richard Marshall, uh, is here with the Black Dyke Band. This just absolutely works for me. It's a stunning, stunning performance. The music is by Paul Sharman and the piece of music is called Flourish. <laughs>
You know, that's absolutely mind-blowing, isn't it? Flourished by Paul Sharman, Richard Marshall, with the Black Dyke Band wishing David in Mansfield a very happy birthday for the 11th of September. Honley is our next stop, and this is a, a bit of a feature with a brass band and a male voice choir. And I'm guessing if it's from Honley, well, I know if it's from Honley, that the lady who has requested this lives in Honley. She's called Miriam, and she has this particular CD, which reminds her of going to the Royal Albert Hall, yeah, the, the Yorkshire Voices, gosh yeah, I remember those, um, they were the Cancer Research concerts, weren't they? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and it was so good, and I was proud to be in the Albert Hall listening to our bands and choirs. Uh, this particular recording features the Sellers International Band and Honley Male Voice Choir. Uh, Miriam in Honley, thanks for this one, three Yorkshire songs. <laughs>
lovely isn't it three yorkshire songs for miriam in honley the honley mill voice choir with the vocals and it was actually the sellers engineering band not the sellers international band with the brass sections of that time for this week's test piece this is an absolute cracker i love this um and i remember well playing it in the early 1980s kevin in new pudse with this week's request could i please hear george hesp's the three musketeers Absolutely no problem whatsoever. This is a great recording with the Black Dyke Mills Band. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dyke Mills Band playing George Hesp's The Three Musketeers. That test piece was first used at the British Open back in September 1953. And the winners were the National Band of New Zealand. Yes, they came all the way from New Zealand to compete in the British Open and were delighted to take home the title, The Three Musketeers. This week's test piece was chosen by Kevin in New Pudse. In tune time now, this features a brass band and an organ. I love this. Uh, this is another heritage recording remastered from an LP, which I got probably late 70s, early 80s, maybe about 81 actually. Um, but don't quote me on that. Uh, as I say, I love this. Anne and Steve in Middleton, thank you very much for the choice of this week's hymn tune played by the City of Coventry Band. Jeez you joy of man's desiring. <laughs> Lovely hymn tune, Jeez You Joy of Man's Desiring, the City of Coventry Band, with some organic, organic uh, accompaniment. It's just a lovely recording. Anne and Stephen Middleton, thank you very much indeed. That was the penultimate piece in this week's show. I'm going to finish this list off now about things that you might find in the kitchen or foods, places which have got associations with food or kitchen. How about greedy gut? <laughs> Greedy gut. Uh, this is a channel of water on the east coast at Spurn Point, just to let you know. Uh, guzzle down. Well, we can guzzle down food, can't we? That's a hill in Devon. Uh, now, Stilton. Here is an interesting fact. Stilton's in Cambridgeshire, but they can't actually produce Stilton cheese. Um, Stilton vies with cheddar, of course, for the most famous cheese in the world, I think. Uh, but it's protected designation of origin a pdo status 
for the blue and white versions. The Cambridge Village cannot cannot produce it, which I find amazing. The PDO only applies to wheels made in Derbyshire, Leicestershire and Nottinghamshire. That's, that's an amazing fact. Stilton in Cambridgeshire. Uh, this one's funny. Barton in the Beans. Barton in the Beans. That's in Leicestershire. Uh, and just to finish off, two of them. I thought I've got to add these to the list because this is when you've had your food, when you've eaten. Um, in Lincolnshire, there's a place called Belshford. Oh dear. Belshford. And in Surrey or West Sussex, two villages called this burpham b-u-r-p-h-a-m that concludes the list for this week what are we going to finish with one two four coming to an end malcolm in york could you please play this cracking piece which goes on for nearly 10 minutes i'd like to hear the cory band version if at all possible malcolm we can do this with absolute pleasure thanks everybody for listening back with show number 125 next week but we sign off on 124 with the Cory Band playing Mazorkski's Baba Yaga and the Great Gate of Kiev. Thanks again. Ta-ra! <laughs> Thank you.